No. Today, I'm going to focus on the other side and show you why the hell Murray uh -huh. was just a cherry on top. Kyler and Nuke's energy is something different, and they could be the league's most dangerous tandem. Let's break this on down. Kyler Murray, look at those big old gloves. DeAndre Hunter is like size 7X. Nuke the bomb down at the bottom. And you'll see Kyler Murray in the backfield, of course, in the shotgun formation. Now there's going to be crossing routes between DeAndre Hopkins and Larry Fitzgerald. Now this is beautiful. Pay attention to the bottom where he spot shadow. Nuke the bomb, give a little push off. You see that? A vet move. Gives a little push off and then he's going to find that soft spot, which is in every zone. Kyler Murray peeps the soft spot and then looks for the gap like we're watching straight hand on TV and then boom. Yeah, DeAndre Hopkins come down with it in traffic. So we know that he can catch a trick. Watch this. A little push in the back. Ah, ref won't see that. They'll no. never notice that extension, right? Matt Milano's always getting it, huh? I know, I know. We love you, brother. All right, this is third and two, right? The last game versus the Seattle Seahawks. And we talked about this. Watch how Kyler Murray does something very slick. He's going to hold the safety. Kay mentioned this play earlier. Look where his vision is. His helmet is straight ahead. It's one-on-one -on -one coverage. Kyler Murray knows exactly, exactly where he wants to go. But he has to hold that safety so the safety can play true. And once he does that, he's going to throw an absolutely beautiful ball. Check out the placement, the space on the sideline. This is why you hold DBs, so you can give your quarterback room. You know how you see young wide receivers getting pushed and they're damn near out of bounds? Quarterbacks hate that. No, no, Kyler Murray loves this. A smile all over his face. Haven't seen a smile this big since Peter found out that iced coffee can help with the male libido. Remember that? Oh, um, yeah, let's get it popping. <laughs> Kyle, don't you look at me crazy. If it's true, I want it. Do you remember making the case? All right, um, all right let's keep this going, though. Hello. Now, once again, once again, one-on-one -on -one coverage. At home, everybody say it together. One-on-one -on -one coverage, where is Kyler going? DeAndre Hopkins but he has to hold the safety. Now, the safety place is somewhat true because he has a chance to lay a big hit on DeAndre at the end, but you'll see Kyler Murray. He turns his shoulders, hips to the right side of the field, even though he knows where he wants to go with the ball. Now, DeAndre Hopkins might not be the fastest dude in the world. Actually, right here, Jackson the DB is in perfect position. But still, give it up to your guy, right? I said 50-50 ball between cornerback and wide receiver. When DeAndre is out there, it's more like 90-20. I want you to check out the ball placement. I mean, really, if you're a DB, the coach is telling you, you are in perfect position. I want you to check out this angle, though, from the sideline. Watch this. You'll see Jackson try to hold him up by his arm like MJ on the balcony, but DeAndre Hopkins is like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> you talking about little blanket? Yeah, shout out to blanket. blanket. And you'll see this. Speaking of blanket, this is blanket coverage. Great segue, KB. Nice. This is the hell Murray that we keep talking about. Watch Kyler escape the pocket. Ball in the right hand. And this is the hesitation. He does this every single game. I want to give some advice to defenses. Shoot for his upfield shoulder. They don't get there. Kyler Murray turns his shoulders so he can get this ball up and down, like in between the green, like they're playing golf. And yeah, this right here is a beautiful catch. D hop going up, surrounded by three dudes, like a pretty girl at the bar, and comes down with it. You got three of the best DBs in the business trying to make a play on the ball. Trey White, Jordan Poyer, Micah Hyde. Three guys that are highly respected. And this is a beautiful ball as he's falling backwards. Takes a little bit of shot on the sideline. But D-Hop just stands up, jumps up, catches it. He found out that it was completed by looking at the Jumbotron after. He had no idea. The one behind him. He was knocked out. He was eclipsed yeah. by the D lineman who hugged him at the end while he was taking him out. Now, this is the X factor part of his game. This is that, that variable that you can't defend. And really, you can't coach. Look how he has that ball out. Doesn't it look like he's about to cross somebody over? Yes. Oh, baby. My God, son. He's out to, like, skip to my loo. Got his... Got the ball out and he's just shaking everybody. That Kyle Van Noy, that's a pretty good Kyle linebacker. Van Noy, oh boy, who is one guy who doesn't get shook often by running backs, let alone a quarterback. And once again, he puts the ball in the pocket, but look how confident he is. Balls out like KB at the nude beach, and then he just. Oh my God! Up. Now, this is unbelievable because as he drops back, you don't know if he's going to hand it off. You know he's slick with the ball in his hands, kind of like Lamar Jackson is. And then when he drops back, you don't know if he's going to throw it. The worst thing that happens to defense is, is when they drop everybody into coverage because he has become such a good passer. And once he sees that, he exposes every defense. And the combination of having a guy like D Hop, who you can just literally throw it up to, mm -hmm. like you're playing outside at recess, 
unbelievable duo. You're looking at me like I'm just unsupposed to take what you're saying seriously with all the puns you just made. <laughs> like, I, like I'm thinking about anything else than what, everything that you were saying. You know, I, I'm still trying to recover from the shots that they took at me during making okay, the case. Okay, okay. So this okay. is kind of like an all show long thing. What I got? 20 more minutes like to take it. shots at my minutes. guys. What do you think? <laughs> I just love watching Kyler because I don't think there's any other quarterback like him. And you could say, well, Lamar did all that last year. Lamar doesn't throw the ball like Kyler. Kyler can do it with his arm, can do it with his feet. And when he's in the open field, I would argue he might be the most dynamic runner in the entire sport, and that includes running backs. He's so small, he's so quick, and it's not like a fast, it's a quick, it's just Quickness. so hard. And it's almost like he's uh, skipped to my Lou or something like that, or Allen Iverson on the field, because <laughs> he's got these shake moves. I think he's a really unique player, and there's never been one like him. S specifically, the way he plays football yeah. and has that arm, not saying he's the best player of all time or even the best player in the league. He's the most unique player in the mm -hmm. sport. I have been to a beach like that one time. Yeah. I was 12 oh years old. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Barcelona? Where were you? We were in Mexico San Sebastian. Yeah. Like, in there. Dad, well, I know what you were thinking, Dad. Um, <laughs> this game feels like, it's, we're talking so much about these tandems. It, it feels like it's like NBA Jam, like two versus two. It's it's Russ and DK yeah. and Kyler and DeAndre. And I feel like, who are we going to talk about 7-8 tomorrow? I still think it's going to be Russ and DK. Nate, you absolutely nailed it of course but I'm still gonna double down Seahawks are 7-8 tomorrow it's funny like the Arizona Cardinals are playing so well that this game who if we would have predicted the storyline surrounding it in the offseason this was Russell Wilson in the season mm -hmm. now with the way the conversation is naturally organically we're not forcing the issue here on the show we have no narrative we're pushing but it kind of seems like the Kyler Murray game is that crazy for me to say that mm. and I'm a huge Russell Wilson fan I just feel like Kyler Murray has a chance to literally shut the door on the conversation that he's in the elite discussion. Especially against that defense. I hope Bobby Wagner has something to say about it, right? Here